The housing industry saw healthy increases in values this year thanks to factors including low interest rates, lower gas prices, stronger wage growth, and millennials taking the plunge and entering the market. Still, as demonstrated by the now eight presidential elections, anything can happen. Here are five things to watch out for in real estate in 2017, so don't get blindsided. Number one, drones will get more popular in the real estate world in 2017. Anyone can buy one and learn how to operate it in about 30 minutes. Number two, new term, suburban. Years ago, there was a suburban sprawl where you could get away from the denser urban areas. Recently, the reurbanization trend has taken a hold in major metropolitan areas, but opportunities are limited. The new trend is called suburban which is bringing urban amenities to the suburban areas and becoming a new way of life for very many people. This blend of urban and suburban living provides the best of both worlds and will rise in demand for new home buyers in the coming years. Number three, millennials rebut the starter home. Millennial buyers have more money to spend on down payments now after spending years at home and saving their money and playing video games more millennials are expected to buy a first home in 2017 as much as 33 percent of the buyer pool so number four trump's presidency could change the whole game donald trump's win stuns the financial world the media and perhaps the real estate markets fears of recession could grow with a likelihood that trump would cut government spending dramatically in his first year and stock market uncertainty increasing over just how his presidency will begin obviously looking at the market right now it is absolutely blowing doors we're almost at 20,000 as such another year of low interest rates could be in the cards but then again we could actually see an increase number five start thinking about generation z they're turning 18 and it won't be long before they reach the market gen c is a lot different than the millennials that entered adulthood in the mix of major uncertainty recession war terrorism stock market collapse then they watched the housing downturn and were under major student debt burdens so a lot to be contending with Gen Z is going to come out of the age with low interest rates, better job prospects, and higher wages to help cushion the high costs of college education. Which one would you like to be a part of? And perhaps without the hesitancy to buy, they're going to come into the market a lot stronger. So there you are, the five top trends to watch in 2017 and beyond. Now for Minding Your Own Business. So you put a lot of time and energy into your marketing plan. Now what? Well, you got to execute it. No execute, no action. We all get really busy at times and use them as an excuse as to why we haven't been able to get things done. Then when business slows, we wish we had put more time into our marketing strategy and stayed consistent. Don't get caught in this circle. Once you start a marketing strategy, stay consistent. And if you do, and you'll stay top of mind, have more opportunity to demonstrate your expertise and be able to be known as a knowledgeable resource for your clients. Consistency is key in postcard mailings, believe it or not, the average time to get a call back from a monthly postcard mailing is seven months, a whole seven months. If you don't get in front of your prospects consistently, they won't know who you are, they won't think of you, they won't call you. So whatever your marketing campaign is, start it with the idea of being consistent, set aside the time, the resources, and the energy to make sure that you continue to do it and get it done. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Have a great day and a wonderful year.